No! Oh! Ruthless! 50 kills with two sets of paratroopers. So I want every single one of you watching this video right now, leave a comment down below. What level are you currently at in the Cold World War 2 beta? Are you max rank 30 or are you just starting off on level one? Let me know down below because I want to see all the comments and see what everyone is at currently within the beta. However, today is all about something very important that I don't think many people know about and it's been really helping me out this weekend because it is something that was only added in this weekend, weekend two of the Cold World War to beta and it is amazing I cannot lie. Now yesterday I did a video on and I don't actually have a class for it anymore which does say a lot but it's a brand new rifle the M1A1 carbine so if you want to see gameplay of that I'll leave a video link down below in the description but that is not what we're focusing on today because amongst the divisions and amongst all the classes that you put together one thing that I think gets overlooked quite a lot and is actually really really important is basic training. Basic training contains a load of amazing like mini perks almost for example the ability to reload faster, the ability, the ability to get scavenger and refill your ammo. There's loads of them. However, there is one brand new one that I'm currently using on all of my classes, as you can see, apart from the Luftwaffe drilling shotgun, which is my sniper shotgun class. If you guys want to see another video on that, let me know because it was so much fun. This one has hustle, which allows me to reload faster, but every other single class has ordnance. Now, ordnance is a brand new basic training that is the last one you unlock currently within the beta. Now, the max rank at the moment is 30. It is due to go up to 40 by the end of this weekend. So even more basic trainings will be coming your way. So look out for them. But the reason this one is so good because it cheapens all your score streaks, every single one you apply. And on top of that, also allows you to re-roll your care packages. It is amazing. So here we can see just how all the score streaks change. One of the main ones is that the recon goes from a five kill streak, 500 score to just under 400, 375, which is absolutely huge. The care package is lowered, the fighter is lowered, the glide bomb is lowered, but we're going to be linking in the awesome reduction to the recon aircraft score with the brand new kill streak that's available as of the weekend two beta, the mortar strike, which goes from a seven and a half kill streak to a six kill streak, and then also linking it in with the biggest score streak currently in the beta, the paratroopers, which goes from a 12 and a half score streak, which is pretty much a 13 score streak, down to 11, which is a big reduction that I am very, very excited about. Now, you guys may have seen my video where I covered the paratroopers in weekend one where they were okay, but a lot of people were saying they weren't great. The paratroopers have been buffed and made even better. So I want to do a whole video focusing on that very soon and see if we get more or less kills with the change to the paratroopers. But for the moment, we are going to be focusing on using the new mortar strike, getting all these kill streaks with less score and seeing just how well we do, guys. So if you're going to enjoy this gameplay, give it a big fat thumbs up. I really hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, let's play some more Cold World War 2. All right, let's kick this off. The Grease Gun is not good in this situation, but honestly, brutal start. Honestly, I take the Grease Gun as my most used SMG within the base. Up. Controversial, I know, but I absolutely love it. Nice, jeez Louise. I think it's because his gun acts a little bit more like an assault rifle than an SMG. And even with rapid fire, this thing is like easy enough to control recoil. One, two, three. Can we make it a fourth? No. Oh my God, where's he gone? Where's he gone? No! Oh my gosh. But it got us our um, recon plane, which we wouldn't have gotten before, and we had got the ordnance basic training, so it's helping us out already. Uh-oh. Look at you trying to sneak up. And you, what are you doing? Oh my god, my teammate just got obliterated. I know there's a guy hiding here somewhere. I knew you were trying to kill us all off of spawn. Don't try and do that. Don't try and do that at all. Let's try and get some streets rolling. Good stuff. Oh, 155 kill. Oh, no, but alive again. Come on. Thank goodness. I thought it was just going to incinerate us again. Nice, Kingslayer. Shot down. How Ali, what on earth was that grenade, man? Come on, sort it out. There we go. Okay, let's get things rolling a little bit. This is actually quite a tough game. And apart from the UAV, we haven't quite utilized this basic training as much as we should have. I want to try and get all of our kill streaks, obviously. Nice. Okay, let's keep this rolling. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Let's call that in. We're only one kill away from getting the brand new mortar strike as well. This spot here is honestly my favorite spot. 
Hey, and the M1 not A1 carbine gets us a kill. We need to get our mortar strike. But this here, this building, when they're spawning around you, is so freaking good. Where's this enemy gone? Oh, 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 oh. Where are you going, buddy? Don't try and run away. They just have no idea where you are. The great thing is about people not really using silences too much, and obviously the ability to actually hide from UAV. Thank God he only had a pistol. Isn't really used too much, to be honest with you. So, you don't really find it too hard to find where enemies are. We're actually evening this up a little bit more, which is great. I was going to go for a knife or a punch to the back, and I was like, nah, he's going to run away. Okay, this is where we need to focus up. 930, we are only, like, one and a half. Oh, the hit fire on this thing is godly. Okay, one kill away. One kill away from the paratroopers. I'm just going to sit this one out here. Wait for someone to come by. Or, if we can get this with the mortar strikes, what we're saying, come on, one, anyone else? Anyone else want to get killed by the mortar strikes? Okay, one's close enough. Oh, there we go. The paratroopers are ready at the lowest score of 11 kills in TDM. Oh, let's go. We're going to keep it going a little bit. Why not? Let's try and get these streaks wrapped. You never know. And again, we're just going to loop up behind these guys. They have absolutely no idea. I always feel sorry, but really, I absolutely love it. Wait, what? No. Oh, ruthless. Okay, one of my aims of this beta is to get a nuclear or a 30 kill streak. So, this could be a potential, potential chance to do it, to be honest with you guys. You've got the paratroopers in our back pocket, which we will call in in a second. But we are wrapping our streaks right now. Let's get a UAV in. 750 kills in there. Some cheer. I don't know why I had the uh, rocket launcher symbol for that. But hey, 750 kills is pretty damn good. Oh, where are these guys coming from? What, what, what are you guys going to do, huh? Oh, why, why, why the one time I needed my SMG out and not my assault rifle, he jumps around the corner, but the big bad boy paratroopers are coming in, screaming eagles are killing people already. Thank God he didn't jump on that machine gun, because that probably would have absolutely wrecked That machine gun is so strong. The screaming eagles, the paratroopers are doing an absolutely amazing job right now. I'm just going to get... I was going to say I'm going to get aggressive. I, I probably shouldn't have gotten aggressive. I, I do do regret it now. But let's see if we get another streak rolling here, guys. Okay, there are quite a few enemies around us here. I think they're all underneath us, though. This could be the opposite spawn push. And the paratroopers are still killing people. The opposite. Another one. Oh, my gosh. They're crazy. Let's see if we can sneak around their spawn here. When I say sneak, I mean use my unscienced weapon to absolutely demolish them. If possible. Why? Why do you have to do that to me, bro? Okay, here we go. We're back in. We're back in position. Oh, oh. Okay, only assist right now. I think these guys are still spawning here, though. Where you at? Don't go hiding. Come on. Don't be shy. It's only me up here now. Nice. Okay, I'm just doing 40 kills. There's only 20 kills left in the game. Could we push this to a 50 kill TDM with the increased max kill of um, 100 in TDM? This is actually possible, you know. I'm not even going to try and shoot something that far away. Oh, he was running at me with his knife, his bayonet. Get away from me. Okay, let's try and stay in their spawn. And if we can get ourselves... Nice. 300 kills with the grease gun. Oh my god. That, that's how much I like the grease gun, guys. That is how much I like to use it. Oh, thank you. If you don't want to move around your spawn and just stay there, then I'm perfectly happy for that to happen. Oh, that, I, I say that the grease gun hit fire is amazing. Don't get me wrong, it is. But that was certainly a little bit risky. Nice. Another mortar strike. Let's get it. This guy's still not moving. That is very lucky. 46. Nice. 47, I think. Let's put down his mortars. Where do you reckon they're going to be? Oh, my God. Okay, I literally almost placed that mortar on top of my face. Luckily, I got the kill anyway. Oh my god, we are 130 score. So one and a little bit kills away from getting our paratroopers. But the enemies have got a UAV. No. Oh, no. Thank God for the AFK players and Merciless. Whoa. Double paratrooper. Paratro what? Get, get them in, mate. There's only 30 seconds left of the game. I don't have much more time to use the 50 kills with two sets of paratroopers. Look at them coming. Beautiful. What the heck are you doing at the back of the map, mate? Get out of here. Don't you dare kill me. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. There's only 20 seconds left. Go forth, paratroopers. The second set of streaks. I don't know if we would have had enough time or enough score to get the paratroopers. 
had we not be using the ordnance basic training. So it literally came in clutch there. Man, these TDM games are long now. It's the first 100. There's only two seconds left. And we don't even get to 100 kills. But 52 kills to our name. Wrapping all of our streets twice with one of the worst teammate setups in the world. A4 is at level 1, 2, 3, or 4. Not what you want, but it didn't hold us back, my friends. And honestly, if you're playing the beta right now, get yourself ranked up and get yourself the ordnance training if you want yourself easier kill streaks that will absolutely bang, my friends. Especially if you never use paratroopers or some of the highest score streaks. So, guys, hope you've enjoyed this little gameplay and hope you take advantage of the basic training if you didn't know about it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. We've got loads more Cold World or two videos coming your way, obviously. So thank you so much for watching it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.